Super Mayhem. Hello friends, Tim here again with another tutorial type video this time. Uh, you might have noticed I've been doing a lot of live streaming on YouTube um, and I get a lot of questions how I do it, what software I use and uh, I'm hoping I can show you the easiest way to get streaming on YouTube with uh, donation alerts and um, using an emulator as well. So the first thing you need to do is download Open Broadcaster software. I use OBS Classic. There is a newer version of that available, but um, for this tutorial I'm just using the classic one because that's what I use. But uh, this should still stand for the newer version as well. So the first thing we need to do is get CLR browser plugin, browser source plugin. This is, we're going to use this to include web pages inside our stream. Um, that's for the pop-ups for the alerts when you get donations or subscribers and that sort of thing. Um, there's also one for the newer version just called Browser Plugin, so you can download either of those, I'll leave the links below. But for the time being, we'll assume you've downloaded and installed Open Broadcaster. And it should look something along these lines. Uh, you won't have these here, these are my pre-set up ones. But uh, I'll just go through setting up a demo one for you guys, so you can see basically what you need to do to some degree. So first we right click in the scenes and go add scene. I'm just going to call this demo um, because we're doing a demo. Uh, now once we've got our scenes we need to add some sources. So first of all we'll add a webcam source. So right click in sources, add and it's a uh, video capture device. I'll just leave it as that. Um, so here up the top you can see the device tab. You might have a couple of devices. I've got a built-in um, webcam that I'm going to use. So I've got my Zeus USB 2 webcam. You might have something else there. You won't need to play around too much with these settings, but feel free to have a look around and see what you can get going. Um, but for the purpose of this exercise, we'll just leave it at that. So already now we can click on this preview stream button. And it should show my beautiful face. There it is. <laughs> but as you can see, it's quite big. So we're going to go to edit scene and make it a bit smaller. So I'm up the top left of my stream so you can still see me. So we're going to go stop editing scene and then we're going to go stop preview. So the next thing you want to do is add your uh, gaming or your, your emulator. So I'm going to use SNES 9X. So we right click again and go add. And it's a window capture. We'll just call it window capture. And as you can see up the top here, it's got uh, various windows that I have open. Oh, I need to refresh this, sorry. So it'll show my lists. There we go. All right, so I've refreshed it. So it's showing me uh, my SNES 9X recording software. I'm gonna just go in a window because that's all we wanna see. So once you've got your emulator selected, just click OK. And uh, we can already go preview stream again. And uh, now you can see we've got the emulator run up and running. So we go edit scene again. And if we move this, we should see the webcam. So now you can uh, pretty much drag this and make it as big as you want or small as you want. Um, so it fits in the screen. I do something along these lines to make it work. Um, Alright, so now we've got our emulator. You can see I can already play the game. Oh, sorry, I'm knocking, knocking shit over. You can see it working in Open Broadcaster already, so that's pretty cool. You could stream just like this if you wanted to, but um, we'll make it a bit fancier when my computer decides to work. Um, so I'm gonna go stop preview. So now we're going to go to a place called Streamlabs, which is uh, the apparently the number one free streamer tools place. Uh, so just go ahead and log in. And with this we're going to log in with YouTube, um, because we're going to stream to YouTube. So just click log in with YouTube. This will ask you, I'm going to black this out, but it'll uh, ask you to choose your account um, and then choose your channel. Uh, so I'm doing Super Mayhem, obviously, because that's where we're streaming. 
Um, so as you can see, it wants access to view your YouTube account and manage your YouTube account. Uh, ordinarily, I wouldn't advise this, but I know these guys are legit, so we're just going to allow them. And once it uh, cranks a little bit, it should give us a nice dashboard of what's going on um, in Streamlabs world. So, as you can see, there hasn't been much action today because I haven't subscribed. Uh, sorry, I haven't uh, streamed today. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is set up our donation settings. So you can see here I've clicked on donation settings under my account and I've added my PayPal address. And this will give you a URL of uh, where people can actually tip you. Um, so if we just have a quick look at that. Should load up pretty quickly. Um, it gives you this kind of screen, which you should have should have seen if you have donated to me, which would be sweet, guys, if you uh, see me live streaming. But um, just copy that URL and put it in your, your description when you go to live stream. But we're more interested in things like uh, the alert box here in the widgets. So this, once it loads, will give us a bunch of information um, down here, like general settings and stuff. But uh, for the purpose of this, we'll just have a look at the donations. So I've got this enabled. And uh, you can see down here a little bit of what it looks like. Uh, these you can easily change um, or upload your own image if you want to. Um, but it's got a whole bunch of stock files that will pop up basically. Um, I've made use of a couple of them. They're pretty cool. Um, you can change the sound volume, the alert duration. So I've got it on 20 seconds. That kind of thing. Uh, then we're interested in the uh, widget URL. So this is um, what we're going to put in our CLR browser pro um, plugin. So I'm going to hide this so people can't steal my alert box. But this is um, essentially what we copy. Copy the URL and then we're going to go back to OBS and we're going to add a new uh, CLR browser. So this will be our donation ticker. So something should pop up in a second. My computer's a little bit slow. So then it'll ask for a URL and we just paste that widget URL in there. Um, sorry, I'm working one-handed here if you know what I mean. <laughs> so I pasted in the, the URL for that um, widget. Now if we go preview stream. And we're just going to... I'll get, get the game up again. Um, so now we go edit scene again. And you can see there's an empty highlighted one because I've highlighted CLR browser rather than um, window capture. So say we want our alerts to appear there. You just simply drag it there. We'll stop editing scene. And then you can already do a test. Uh, so we'll test, test the donation. And there you can see, John donated $76. Well, I wish John would donate $76 to me. That would be very handy. But uh, that's essentially all you need to do to set up your basic streaming kind of uh, setup. Um, you can obviously fiddle around more with um, the super chat, the test... Uh, sorry, I've just tested the subscriber. Uh, you can set up different... Um, Alerts for subscribers, sponsors, even your super chats, if you've got that enabled. Uh, so that's pretty much setting it up, setting up um, your donations and all that sort of jazz. It'll pop up on your stream. So the next thing you need to go is to YouTube. Where here you can see my basic stream. Um, all I've done is uploaded a thumbnail. Um, I've put a put a bit of information in the um, description and all that jazz. I'll let you play around with that and fill that out though. But the thing we're interested in is down the bottom here, which is the encoder setup. So you can see there's a server URL, um, which we don't really need to worry about with OBS. But we do need the stream name slash key. Now, I'll black this out because otherwise anyone can stream on my channel. But you'll click reveal, 
copy this stream key. And once you've copied that, we go back to Open Broadcaster and we want to go to Settings, the top settings, and then we're interested in the broadcast settings. So as you can see here, I've got the mode on live stream. You can save to a file if you want, um, but I'm going to live stream. The streaming service is already in there. We're going to select YouTube Gaming, obviously, for us, because uh, that's where we're going to game. And then um, in this play path stream key, uh, we want to paste that key we just got from YouTube and um, click apply and then click OK once that's done. And uh, that's really pretty much it. Um, let's just get the game back up here. That's pretty much the basics of streaming. So once you're happy with how everything looks, you would just go, instead of uh, previewing the stream, you would go start streaming. And that should uh, magically tell you you're online then on YouTube and you'll see yourself and your setup on here. And you can see the chat on the right hand side and, and those sorts of things. So. so yeah, that's pretty much how you live stream on YouTube using an emulator. I hope uh, I hope this has helped some people. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I'd be more than happy to answer them, or I can do another video that's maybe a little bit more in depth because um, I didn't cover a lot of OBS settings and everything like that. But uh, you should be able to find that online. Find what works for your internet. Um, it's always a little bit of a struggle. Got to tweak it a little bit to get it right. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So yeah, please leave any questions below, um, anything I missed, please, please add, uh, hopefully it's helped some people get online, I'd love to see you stream, and hopefully you join me for my streaming too. Alright guys, I'll catch you soon, bye.